All right, peace and blessings, everyone. Today I am making a Qigong video that will support you during the full moon. So these exercises are designed to do during the full moon. However, because we have the power of visualization, you don't have to necessarily do these exercises when there is a full moon. You can do them anytime and just call upon the energy of the full moon to support you while you are doing these exercises. So, you know, the full moon is a wonderful time to do spiritual work, to do cleansing work, to do releasing work. And Qigong is an amazing modality. Of course, I'm a bit biased, but it can support you in many ways, especially with clearing your energy, cleansing, amplifying, and really balancing and harmonizing your qi. So these particular exercises are going to be done with the full moon in mind. And I promised that in the last video, so here I am honoring my promise and creating this video for you. So full moons are very powerful. It is the most heightened time of the moon cycle. And while a lot of people are going crazy and feeling overwhelmed and out of control, you can do this video to have your energy in alignment and also utilizing the power of the full moon to work for you. So let us begin. So the first exercise that I wanted to show you today is harnessing the moon chi. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, we're gonna raise our arms up. So our palms are open, we're imagining that we're scooping up this beautiful light of the moon. And then we're gonna exhale, bringing that energy down through the crown and see that light moving through your entire body nice and slow all the way down the legs through the feet into the earth so again we're going to inhale raising the arms up it's wonderful if you can do it under the moonlight if not that's okay again we can imagine the moon exhale bringing your hands down and allowing that energy of the moon to flow through your body so this can serve many purposes. It can be a clearing and cleansing exercise. As you inhale, we gather the energy. And we can imagine the light of the moon just coming through the body, clearing all of the energy centers, all of the chakras, clearing any stagnation of energy from our meridians or the way energy is moving through our energy body. Again, And as you exhale, you bring the energy down slowly. And it helps if you can visualize. So creating a visualization of what it looks like to have that lunar energy just moving through your body. I see kind of a silvery white energy, but whatever comes to you is perfect. And just see that energy cleansing and removing any debris, any toxic energy, any stagnant energy. We'll do that two more times, gathering the chi. Exhale, bringing it through the body. Isn't this super relaxing? It's just, for me, it feels like instant calm. Inhale, last one, gathering up, harnessing the energy of the moon, bringing it through the crown, all the way down through the body. Beautiful. From here, we're going to go into drawing the moonlight in the Dantians. So we have three Dantians. We're going to be bringing the moonlight into all three. We're going to start with the upper Dantian at the third eye center, and then we're going to move into the heart, the middle Dantian, and then lastly in the lower Dantian. So this is going to look like this. We're going to inhale, raising our arms out to the side. This time we're going to exhale, bringing the energy down. The hands are going to come in front, right in front of the third eye. You're going to inhale, bringing your hands up. Imagine you're gathering that moonlight, pulling it down as you exhale. And notice that my knees are sinking down slightly as I do this. As I inhale, I rise up. I grab the moonlight. As I exhale, I sink down slightly, bringing it through the crown, through that third eye, the upper Dantian. 
and I complete like a little small orbit right here. So inhale, raising the hands up, grab that moonlight. Exhale, bringing it down through the crown, out through the third eye. You got it. Inhale. Now this time we're going to reverse that flow. So we're going to inhale, gathering the energy down. We're going to pull the energy into the third eye. And then we're going to exhale, bringing it through the crown up, back towards the moon. Inhale, sinking down as I pull the energy into that upper Dantian third eye center. Exhale, spiraling it back up. Inhale, bringing it down. So you can see we're making a loop here, energetic loop. As I exhale, I'm bringing the energy back up to the sky, to the moon. Inhale, drawing the moonlight in to the upper Dantian. We're going to do that two more times. So really feel how that feels to have that lunar energy coming into the third eye so this is a really good way to open up that sensor to make um, your clairvoyance more empowered clear seeing and from here we're going to exhale bring the arms down Shake that out a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing for the middle Dantian. So from here, we're just going to inhale, bringing our hands to the heart center. We're going to inhale, reaching up to the sky, grabbing that moonlight. Exhale, bringing it down the back of the body. And coming out through the heart, inhale, rising up. Gathering that moon energy, bringing it down through the crown, all the way into the middle Dantian, into the heart. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale down. You've got it. So we're making a loop this time bigger because we're bringing the energy down into the middle Dantian, into the heart space. Inhale, I reach up, I grab that moon right there in front of me. Exhale, bringing that powerful energy down through the body, through the heart as I exhale. Inhale, back up to the sky, to the moon. Let's do that one more time in this direction. Inhale. Exhale down. Now we're going to reverse it. So we're going to inhale, gathering the energy in through the heart. Exhale, back up to the sky. Inhale, drawing the energy back through the middle Dantian. You've got it. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale. Feel it going up and out through the crown as you exhale. Inhale, drawing it into your heart, expanding your heart. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale into the heart. So we've changed our breath. We're going to exhale as we send it up. We're going to inhale as we draw it in. Expand. Exhale, surrender it back to the moon. Inhale, drawing in the energy into the heart. One more time. And from here, we're going to exhale, bringing the hands down. Beautiful. Last one, we're going to do it through the lower Dantian this time. So we're going to inhale, imagine we're scooping energy up from the lower Dantian all the way to the moon. Exhale, bringing the energy all the way down the spine, through the navel. Inhale. Exhale, bringing it down the body, the back body. Inhale, feel that energy moving out from the lower Dantian, up into the moon. 
and exhale, bringing that powerful moonlight down the body. And we're creating like an energetic loop. We call this the microcosmic orbit. But what we've done is we've broken it down into the three centers instead of doing one giant loop. So we inhale, bringing that energy from the navel, lower Dantian, exhale down the back of the body. One more time in this direction. Feeling that energy going into our core, our power center. This time we're going to bring it in as we inhale through the lower Dantian. We're going to exhale as we send it up back to the sky, inhale, drawing it in. Ooh, I can feel that, I don't know about you. Exhale, bringing that energy up. Imagine you're sharing your energy with the moon, and as you inhale, you're drawing the moon energy into your body, into your lower dantian. And continue the spiral, the cycle. And Exhale up. Inhale, drawing the chi in, lower dantian. Exhale, sending it up. Inhale, drawing it in. Exhale, sending it up. A couple more times. This time we're going to inhale into the lower Dantian and exhale down. The third and final exercise we're going to do today is the moon chi expands the heart. So we're going to inhale, raising our hands up to the sky. We're going to create like a pyramid mudra with our hands. We're going to exhale, bringing that mudra into the heart. Imagine that we've got focused moon energy expanding our heart. Then we're going to inhale, sending that energy back to the sky. We're going to exhale, allow the arms to float down. Let's try that again. Inhale. Creating that mudra, exhale, bringing that moon energy into the heart, smile at your heart, inhale up to the sky, exhale down. Let's try that a few more times, inhale, feel the expansion as you exhale and bring that energy, powerful lunar energy into your heart, inhale back to sky. Exhale, release. You've got it. A couple more times. Inhale. Exhale, bringing that energy into your middle dantian, your seat of love and compassion and joy. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, back up to sky. Exhale, down. And just take a moment to fill into your body and notice what you're feeling. Maybe you're buzzing with a little moonlight now. Maybe you feel more calm, more peaceful, more chill. Maybe you feel more energized. All that matters is you're aware and you're noticing. Hopefully you feel better. And now we're just going to center and align the chi that we just cultivated. We're going to inhale, raising up the right arm. Exhale, down the center of the body. Inhale, raising up the left arm. Bring it down the center of the body. Again. And 
hands up here. We're going to draw down the sky, draw down the moonlight two times. Exhale, bringing that energy down. Feeling nice and clear and open. Inhale, gathering that moonlight. Exhale down. And then we're just going to take a couple deep breaths and center the chi at the lower dantian. It's a good idea to store the energy after our practice in the lower dantian because we can always access it whenever we need it. So just take a couple deep breaths and thanking yourself for showing up and doing some energetic self-care tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. And may you enjoy the beauty of this time whenever you're doing it, whether it's during a full moon or not. And continue to cultivate your energy so that you can be the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please feel free to subscribe so that you can catch all of my new videos and like and share. Thank you so much. Namaste.